another video by stands auto repair um today's video is how to remove the shifter knob off a 1996 ford thunderbird lx just get you a little screwdriver like this um right here you'll see this slit um uh when you do this you'll need to shift it back it makes it easier but make sure you chuck your wheels uh chuck your front and chuck your rear um like the rear driver's passenger and the front uh, passenger side. Um, that way the car won't roll in either direction. Um, and then, oh, start that again. So it's right here. Get your screwdriver. And then just work it out. Because that's all it is. And then this bad boy should come off. Um, so I put her back in park. Well, it should, but that's the pin to release it. Um, for some odd reason, this one's stuck. But, uh, when I get this off, I'll be back while I try to work this off so I can use both my hands. Um, this right here is your overdrive sensor. Uh, but other than that, just grab a hold of it with both hands and pull up and it'll slide right off. All right, thank you all for watching. Welcome to another video um, by Stan's Auto Repair. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we are doing a heater core change on the Firebird. Um, Don, where did I put my heater core? Just come along with me as I look. I tell you, I misplaced things like there's no tomorrow. Last I seen it, I had it over here. As you can see, the cobalt's not here anymore. The guy we was actually buying it off of decided to take it back. Um... He thought he had someone to buy it, but turns out he didn't. Uh, let me get some light on so you guys can see and I'll be right back. All right, well, I looked for the heater core. It might be in the house, but uh, just to kind of give you guys a heads up, as you can see, a lot of stuff had to re be, be removed. Um, the steering wheel, um, you will need a Torx bit uh, because there's uh, this is two screws on this is being held on a Torx bit and that is a T15. Um, you'll be using let's see five sixteenths, three thirty seconds, half inch, uh, and then. Five eighths, which is the bolt here. There's one directly on the other side, and then you have one right here. Uh, you need to remove those three, um, and then yeah, it looks like we might have another bolt somewhere. Yeah, there's something holding it on in here so I'm gonna have to look if I find the bolt I'll show it to you we'll get it out and then we'll continue on okay fellas and ladies this bolt right here is an 11 millimeter and you need to pull it so you have one over here one there and one there, uh, removing the steering wheel will also help because the steering wheel is braced on by four bolts here, or nuts per se. And I will tell you, these ones back here are the half inch and they are a pain in the rear to get off because it's very, very, very tight. Um, but once you do that, 
you'll unconnect from your cluster. Uh, you got a bolt here on the steering wheel here and this. Um, and then you have these connectors that go onto the back of the steering wheel, which you can pull out. I went ahead and pulled the airbag out. Um, I did that. I did that first. Uh, and there's two bolts on the side of the steering wheel, which if the steering wheel was here, you'd have little caps. You'll see them. Pop those caps off and you can get to the... Oh, where are they? Well, uh, screws that look somewhat like this, but they're smaller. Um, hopefully I can find them. Nope, those ain't it. I got stuff everywhere, but, uh, and then just tug it, and as you see, the dash now comes free, and then you can get to the heater cord, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here now, um, because I need to, both hands to be able to move this.